I think as Christians we all realize that we have eternal life and that we've been forgiven for our sins. But a lot of times I think we forget that God's Spirit indwells us. That we haven't been left on our own to follow after Jesus in our own strength and effort. God's indwelling Spirit desires to lead us, and direct us, and empower us, to motivate us. In fact, in Ephesians 5.8, 18, God actually commands us. He says, be filled with the Spirit. Now, it's a partnership. We have a role to play. God's role is to lead, direct, and empower. Our role is twofold. First, we need to abide. Abide is a word that Jesus uses, and it literally means make yourself at home with. Our responsibility is to make ourselves at home with Jesus throughout the day. And that means being as intimate with Him throughout the day as we possibly can be. That means we don't just pray once a day, but we pray throughout the day. That means that any time we see something, we give thanks. We give thanks all day long, praising God throughout the day. Whenever anything comes to our mind that we want to praise God for, just praising Him and confessing sin whenever sin comes up in our life and we feel convicted by the Spirit, confessing it. As we give thanks and praise and confess and pray, we are staying intimate with God throughout the day. We are abiding with Him. And as a result, the Spirit is fully free to empower and influence us. The second thing is reliance. Um, if you've ever noticed people walking around continuously with their water bottles or a cup of coffee. What they do throughout the day is, is whenever they have a, a need, they take a sip. It's kind of a, a, a reliance mechanism. If they're lonely, they take a sip. If they're uh, scared, they take a sip. If they need to be thoughtful, they, they take a sip. Whenever they sense a need, kind of a thirst in their life, they take a sip. And what it means to walk in step with the Spirit is turning that reliance mechanism toward God. And that means all day long, anytime we feel a need, Lord, give me wisdom. Lord, I need strength right now. Lord, I don't know what to do. I, Lord, give me direction. As we do those two things throughout the day, relying on God all day long, abiding with Christ, staying as intimate as we possibly can with Him. As we do those two things, God's Spirit is able to lead and direct and empower us. I wish that you would come back to the surface and breathe the air And leave it all down in the down below And let it go, let it go, just let it all Well, we've talked about a lot of things here, and I want you to be able to rem remember what we've said. And so think in terms of this metaphor. Think about breathing, okay? Just think about breathing. So we inhale and we exhale. We confess and we rely upon God's Spirit. And just like breathing isn't something you do once a day, it's, it's all day long, so too this. All day long, inhaling and exhaling. If whenever, whenever there's sin, Whenever something that comes up that disconnects you in some way from the Lord, it is exhaling, confessing, and inhaling, trusting God's Spirit to lead and direct. Now, at first it might seem just a little bit awkward, but trust me, within a short time it'll be as natural as, well, breathing. God has created us for a new kind of life, one that's free from the power of sin and full of intimacy with Him. It's a life better than any human mind is capable of imagining. But now imagine this. Imagine trying to scuba dive with your air tank running on empty, completely cut off from your oxygen supply. That's why it's so important to draw on the power of the Holy Spirit through spiritual breathing. Without it, we're cut off from the spiritual resources we need to live the Christian life. 
The sheer weight of our own sin and human limitations overwhelms us. It crushes us. But as we're empowered by the Holy Spirit, He can take us to wonderful new places we never even knew existed. All we have to do is breathe. When you breathe in